Hey! Today, we'll see something super interesting and incredibly useful, concurrent dot futures. Sounds fancy, right? So what exactly is concurrent dot futures? Assume you have a number of activities to complete, such as making lunch, doing laundry, and washing dishes. Doing them one by one takes a long time. But if you have some assistance, you may complete these activities concurrently and save a lot of time. That is what concurrent dot futures performs in Python. It allows you to run numerous tasks at the same time via threads or processes, making your programs faster and more efficient. Let's explore how we may apply it in Python. First, we have to import it. We can use one of two classes, thread pool executor or process pool executor. The thread pool executor is useful for I.O. bound operations, such as reading files or sending network requests. Process pool executor is more suited for CPU intensive operations, such as mathematical computations. Here's a simple example using thread pool executor. In this example, we defined a function task that just sleeps for two seconds and prints some messages. Then we created a thread pool executor and submitted five tasks to it. The executor.submit method schedules the function to be executed and returns a future object. We used concurrent.futures. as underscore completed to get the results as they complete. But why should we use this in our code? Well, imagine you're building a web scraper and you need to fetch data from multiple websites. Doing things one at a time will take forever. However, concurrent.futures allows you to fetch data from numerous websites at the same time, significantly speeding up your scraper. Here's a more practical example. This example has a list of URLs. The download underscore file function retrieves the contents of each URL. Using thread pool executor, we can download all of the files at once rather than one by one. Now let's move on to another example. In this case, we used process pool executor to compute the factorial of huge numbers. The executor.map method applies the compute underscore factorial function to each element in the numbers list. This way, the calculations are performed in parallel, employing many CPU cores. Now you have an idea of concurrent.futures. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more Python tutorials and tips.